Hello, my name is Ryan and today we're going to be talking about the most basic parameters within a radio control lithium polymer battery pack. So why would you think that it would be important to talk about the battery pack and the most basic parameters with it? Well, the first thing that one must do when selecting their power system is select the battery pack first. Now it would be very awkward to start off with the brushless motor and work your way backwards. It would be best and the best approach is to take the RC vehicle type, the one that you're looking at putting a power system into, and select the battery pack first. Now the two parameters that we're going to be talking about is voltage and also capacity. So let's start off with voltage. Now a radio control lithium polymer battery pack has a minimum voltage of 3.0 per cell and it also has a maximum voltage of 4.2 volts per cell. Your nominal voltage is going to be about 3.7 volts per cell. And we'll look at how these numbers shape up when you're talking about different cell counts of battery packs. Your storage voltage of a lithium battery is going to be 3.8 to about 3.85 volts, plus or minus a little bit. There is a little bit of a wiggle room right there. And that's really when you want to store your battery for more than, let's say, a week or two. That's the recommended voltage of the battery pack for storage. So when we're talking about a two cell lithium polymer, that means we place two cells in series. That's the specific wiring type that we would use in order to place these packs in series. That would be known as 2S. A 2S lithium battery would have a maximum voltage of 8.4 volts and a minimum of 6.0 volts. Now it's important to realize we don't ever want to hit the minimum voltage of the battery pack. That would degrade the life. We want to make sure we have some capacity remaining that we'll talk about very shortly within the battery pack. That would make sure that it's not at the 6.0 volts for a 2 cell. It would be a little bit higher than that. When we talk about the nominal voltage of a 2S pack, you take our 3.7 and we multiply that by 2 to get our 7.4 volts. That would be the nominal of a 2 cell. If we look at a 6 cell, for example, that would be a minimum voltage of 6 times our 3 volts, so about 18 volts. And remember, that's the drop dead number. We don't ever want to hit that. Our maximum voltage would be about 25.2 volts and our nominal voltage would be sitting at 22.2 volts. That's how we determine the voltage of a battery pack by placing those cells in series. We're simply multiplying the nominal voltage or min or maxes by the number of cells within that battery pack. Now, when we talk about capacity, capacity is really the amount of uh, fuel we have within the battery pack itself. If you have more capacity, you will have almost like a bigger gas tank. You can go further with your RC vehicle, travel for longer. Um, there's also a couple other parameters that work around it as well. Um, so when we look at battery capacity, we'll take an example of a 5,000 milliamp hour battery pack. Milliamp hour is what defines the capacity within our battery pack. The milliamp hour suggests that it's milliamps hour. That really means when you have a 5 amp hour or 5,000 milliamp hour pack, you could discharge this pack at a rate of 5,000 milliamps or 5 amps in one hour. Consequently, if you had a 2,500 milliamp or 2.5 amp hour battery pack, you would be able to discharge that battery pack at 5 amps for only 30 minutes. That's how the numbers work out. Now, these numbers are closely related with other battery parameters, such as the C rating. It's not part of this video that we're going to be describing today, but it will come in a later video. When we talk about the storage capacity of a lithium polymer battery pack, that's going to be the capacity at which the battery pack remains at about the 3.8 to 3.85 volts. Now when we look at the maximum discharge of the battery pack, we want to make sure that we're only consuming about 80% of the battery pack's total capacity. This is going to work out on a 5 amp hour pack of only discharging a maximum of 4000 milliamp hour from the pack. That would leave us with a remaining 1000 milliamp hour. 
if you are doing this where you're only discharging about 80% of the life of, or of the battery pack's capacity, it will prolong the life of your battery pack. Your battery pack will last longer. If you're constantly trying to discharge close to the 5000 milliamp hour out of that 5000 milliamp hour pack, you will significantly degrade the life of that battery pack. That's why it's important to only discharge the 80% capacity. Now, that really covers it for this video. Now, if you're looking for more videos similar to this one, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell. This will notify you as soon as a video gets posted so you're not going to miss any of the ones that get posted to the channel. And I'll see you in the next video. Thank you for watching.